Yeah, when you guys told me that you're not using the TV, I decided to throw it out. It's your girl Chaji. Welcome back to our channel, our channel, because this channel is nothing without you. Okay, so if you're new here, please do join the family by subscribing. And today, today we're gonna be talking about why. Why am I still here? What am I doing in China right now with all this happening, the whole virus thing, and everybody be moving? You wanna go home? What am I still doing here? Okay, but before that, I know, I know, I'm supposed to um shoot a video on my new apartment as you guys can see i have a whole new different setup i am still not sure of where i'm going to be sitting for my videos but for now this is it i know in my previous video i said i was going to shoot a video on the apartment like an apartment tour after i decorated but then guys you know what's happening you know the whole virus thing we cannot really i mean things are moving a little slow so the ordering of stuff online and i also went to ikea ikea was closed so it's gonna take time but then i would appreciate your patience before i get into the video i want to share with you guys a mini story time landlord dramas okay so when i moved into this apartment right when i left the other apartment the landlord came to check if everything's good you know just make sure before she can give my deposit so Guys, I never expected this. I never expected it. <laughs> okay, let me let me go right back to the first time when we moved in to that apartment with my roommate. So when we moved in, we found like this TV that we really didn't like and the TV stand. So then we're like, it's okay, landlord. You can take your stuff and we'll bring our own stuff. So my roomie and I put money together and we bought our own TV and a TV stand. Okay, cool. So, um, the landlord, now, the day before yesterday when I, when I moved out of the place and she was checking everything, she was like, yeah, I'm not giving you a deposit and you also have to top up because you took your TV. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? And she's like, yeah, when you guys told me that you're not using the TV, I decided to throw it out. Seriously? Who? Who on earth told you to throw it out? I had a whole fight thing, right? So I'm asking her, like, who told you to throw it out? We just asked you, like, we just told you that we're going to use our own stuff. And that would have been a win for you guys. And she's like, yeah, but then we don't have space at my house. So we decided to throw it out because we thought you guys would keep the TV. You would leave the TV behind and would use your TV. I stood there for so long wondering, like, what like am i not getting it is it like um language barrier or what is going on here because it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me like it doesn't click because then that sounds like a you problem like why would you throw out your tv because i said i'll bring my own tv that i bought with my own money how does that make sense to you so i was just being calm like you know it's okay let me just listen to her we probably don't understand each other but she continuously did that and the husband was there the husband is like one of those i'm not talking to you i'm just here to come get my keys but then again the husband cannot speak english so i was talking to the wife only and the husband will continuously talk to the wife and you could see she was so frustrated she's like no tell them we're not giving the money back and now they think we don't understand so and then the wife would keep coming back yes the tv where you have to even pay more it's not enough you have to oh <gasps> why 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 guys 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 this you know when something kind of makes sense you would fight and try to make the other person understand but this did not make sense at all so i didn't even know where to begin the lady did not get it we fought a whole hour guys a whole hour until she like okay cool i'm gonna give back your money but i'm not gonna give all of it she took literally she chopped a lot of money from it but i was just like i'm tired i want to go i want to leave i still have to unpack the other stuff the other side so i just left but there was the drama i had and this is actually not the first time like i've heard my friend 
this once she moved out of her apartment and they charged her for her fridge being frozen you know when you put on your fridge and the fridge has that layer of ice yeah so they were like we did not give you the fridge have with this ice so we're charging you for it this just doesn't make sense i'm even scared right now i took pictures of everything in case when i moved out of when i move out of this house i will not have problems like that because this mm -mm. anyways but let's get into the main reason why we're having this video i'm going to be talking about why i'm not leaving china to going home uh, okay my first reason and the most important reason is the fact that i am supposed to graduate in july and i'm like why waste money why waste my parents money and go all the way home and come back again when i have to do my uh, my thesis my research as some would call it so i decided now nah, let me just stay and not waste my parents money another reason is that i am considering the fact that there will be so many people at the airport and the subways when i travel so chances are very high that i could get sick and also to make it worse i could actually infect my family or my people at home when i arrive so i don't want to do that like I, I i i gave it a deep thought my country namibia we are only two million so if this virus was to get there i feel like the whole country will be wiped out so i'm just thinking about the rest of the people and also I just feel it's way safer for me to stay here for now if it gets worse of course i might consider moving back home also i don't want to stay under quarantine for 14 days guys i have a problem with the box i'm already having a huge problem with the fact that i have to stay indoors majority of the time so imagine me being in a room for 14 days no no um so basically that is my main reasons i am not gonna be going home i'm gonna wait to graduate and then i will leave hopefully everything will get well and i do feel like the uh, china is doing everything they can to reduce the spread of the virus so i do feel safe too so yeah i'm just gonna stay and wait until i graduate and go home yeah i also feel that uh, the virus started here so chinese know how to deal with it better than um, other places that just received it so I feel safe they are taking a lot of measures to control the whole spread of the vi the spread of the virus um, like taking temperatures everywhere we go we scan it, whether it's in a car in a bus whatever it is you always have to scan because then they're tracking wherever you are in case you get into contact with somebody else so yeah I feel there's a lot of effort being put in this and we should just stay put and calm and everything will be well soon that's basically it guys that is the reason why i'm still here that is that does not mean that i am never gonna get out of here if things go worse maybe i might change but for now these are my reasons why i am here so thank you guys so much for watching and for all my subscribers my family who have been here from the beninging <laughs> from the beginning i really appreciate you guys you guys have no idea and the love i've been receiving i really appreciate it thank you so much for watching my videos i could give you a hug right now that's how appreciative i am i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully i will have all my stuff i'll have decorated my apartment already and i'll show you guys but then if i don't get the stuff i will bring you another video just stay tuned every sunday or wednesdays thank you so much for watching guys thank you once again appreciate it bye